Hun Sen is the 34th and current Prime Minister of Cambodia, President of the Cambodian People's Party, and Member of Parliament for Candle. He has served as Cambodia's Premier for more than 25 years, making him the longest serving head of government of Cambodia and one of the longest serving leaders in the world. From 1979 to 1986 and again from 1987 to 1990, Hun Sen served as Cambodia's Foreign Minister. His full honorary title is Samdek Ekak Moas Sena Pedi Teko Hun Senator Born Hun Bunnel. He changed his name to Hun Sen in 1972, two years after joining the Khmer Rouge. Hun Sen rose to the premiership in January 1985 when the KPOP dominated National Assembly appointed him to succeed Chan S. Y., who had died in office in December 1984. The position would be held by Hun Sen until the 1993 elections when the latter lost an election bid. Refusing to relinquish power and after negotiations with the Phan Sinh Party, Hun Sen jointly served as Prime Minister with Norodom Ranarod until a 1997 coup. Unhot was then selected to succeed Ranarod. In 1998, he would lead the CPP to victory in the elections but had to form a coalition government with Phan Sinh. Hun Sen has since been elected consecutively and is currently serving in his fifth prime ministerial term, and vows to rule until he is 74. Hun Sen was 7009102384000 unregistered trademark 32 years, 162 days old when he became Prime Minister, making him at that time the world's youngest head of government. One of the world's longest serving leaders, with a reputation as a wily operator who destroys his political opponents, Hun Sen is widely viewed as a dictator that has assumed authoritarian power in Cambodia using violence and intimidation and corruption to maintain his power base. Hun Sen has accumulated highly centralized power in Cambodia, including a Praetorian Guard that appears to rival the capabilities of the County Euro unregistered trademark S regular military units. The former Khmer Rouge commander has consolidated his grip on power through a web of patronage and brute military strength. Early life, Hun Sen was born in Kampong Cham, and was the third child of six children to a peasant family. His father, Hun Niang, was a resident monk in a local wat in Kampong Cham province before defrocking himself to join the French resistance and married Hun Sen's mother, Di Yon in the 1940s. Hun Niang's paternal grandparents were wealthy landowners of Tiaku Chinese heritage. Hun Niang inherited some of his family assets and led a relatively comfortable life as they owned several hectares of land until a kidnapping incident forced their family to sell off much of their assets. Hun Sen left his family at the age of 13 to attend a monastic school in Phnom Penh. When Lon Nol usurped power from Shinok in 1970 during a bloodless coup, Hun Nal gave up his education to join the Khmer Rouge. Two years later, Hun Nal changed his name to Hun Senator in 1974, Hun Sen met his future wife Bun Rainey. He was wounded his left eye in battle and had it later removed in 1975, on the day before the Khmer Rouge captured Phnom Penh. The following year, Hun Sen married Bun Rainey. Political career and premiership Hun Sen came to power with the Khmer Rouge and served as a battalion commander in the eastern region of Democratic Kampuk here. In 1977 during internal purges of the Khmer Rouge regime, Hun Sen and his battalion cadres fled to Vietnam. Hun Sen became one of the leaders of the rebel army and government that the Vietnamese government sponsored when they prepared to invade Cambodia. When the Khmer Rouge regime was overthrown, Hun Sen was appointed deputy prime minister and foreign minister of the Vietnamese installed People's Republic of Kampukhia State of Cambodia in 1979. As the de facto leader of Cambodia, in 1985, he was elected as chairman of the Council of Ministers and Prime Minister, after the death of Chan S. Y. As Foreign Minister and then Prime Minister, Hun Sen played a pivotal role in the 1991 Paris peace talks, which brokered peace in Cambodia. During this period Prince Norodom Shinok referred to him as a one-eyed lackey of the Vietnamese. In 1987, Amnesty International accused Hun Sen's government of torture of thousands of political prisoners using electric shocks, hot irons and near suffocation with plastic bags. 
In a very bold move after the UN monitored elections he refused the step down from the post and negotiated a transitional government agreement that allowed him to remain as co-prime minister but he retained the chairmanship of the CPP. From 1993 until 1998 he was co-prime minister with Prince Norodom Ranarid. In 1997, the coalition was shaken by tensions between Ranarid and Hun Senator Fen Seinck began to discuss with the remaining Khmer Rouge rebels, with the aim of absorbing them into its ranks. Such a rallying would have rebalanced the military power between royalists and CPP. In response, Hun Sen launched the 1997 Cambodian coup, replacing Renarid with Un Hout as the first prime minister and himself still as the second prime minister until the CPP's victory in the 1998 election and thus becoming the country's sole prime minister in 1998. During that year the media broadcast him as the strong man of Cambodia which he later said was premature, and that the July 1997 coup was merely the government taking action against the paramilitary anarchy that was sponsored and brought to Phnom Penh by Narodom Ranarid. In an open letter, Amnesty International condemned the summary execution of Fonsignac ministers and the systematic campaign of arrests and harassment of political opponents. On May 6, 2013, Hun Sen declared his intention to rule Cambodia until he is 74. The controversial and widely disputed elections of July 2003 resulted in a larger majority in the National Assembly for the CPP, with Phan Sein losing seats to the CPP and the Sam Rainsy party. However, CPP's majority was short of the two-thirds constitutionally required for the CPP to form a government alone. This deadlock was overcome and a new CPP Fan Sein coalition was formed in mid-2004. When Narodom Renarid was chosen to be head of the National Assembly and Hun Sen became again sole Prime Minister of Cambodia. In August 2013, Hun Sen announced he would continue with his aim to form a new government, even if the main opposition tried to block the process. The news came after both sides claimed victory in the 2013 general elections. Also in August, in New York, a major, but largely unnoticed, demonstration held in front of the United Nations on August 19 by Cambodians and Buddhist monks was a crucial prelude to planned mass demonstrations in Phnom Penh later in September 2013 by opposition groups protesting the July elections and Hun Sen's response. Cambodians in the United States, Canada and elsewhere, joining hundreds of Buddhist monks to peacefully protest in front of the United Nations in New York City in opposition to Hun Sen's deployment of tanks and military and security forces in Phnom Penh and what they believed was his unwillingness to share political power with opposition groups and seriously address earlier voting fraud and election irregularities from the July 2013 election. After the 2013 election results, disputed by Hun Sen's opposition, one person was killed and others injured during protests in Cambodia's capital, where a reported 20,000 protesters gathered, some clashing with riot police. Following the opposition's two weeks in a row protests, in response, Hun Sen declares he will not step down from his position, nor will there be a re-election. Further adding he was elected constitutionally. On September 7, 2013, Tens of thousands of Cambodians, along with Buddhist monks and opposition groups, including Sam Rainsy's Cambodian National Rescue Party held peaceful mass demonstrations in Phnom Penh to protest the 28 July elections results which they claimed were flawed and marred by voting irregularities and potential fraud. The groups asked the United Nations to investigate and claimed that the elections results were not free and fair. On January 3, 2014, military police opened fire at protesters, killing four people and injuring more than 20. The United Nations and U.S. State Department have condemned the violence. U.S. Congressman Ed Royce responded to the report of violence in Cambodia by calling for Hun Sen to step down and said the Cambodian people deserve a better leader. On June 10, 2014, Hun Sen made a public appearance and claimed he has no health problems. He warned that if he were to die prematurely, the country would spin out of control and the opposition could expect trouble from the armed forces, saying he is the only person who can control the army. Corruption and political violence Some political opponents of Hun Sen accuse him of being a Vietnamese puppet. 
This is due to his position in the government created by Vietnam while Cambodia was under Vietnamese military occupation and the fact that he was a prominent figure in the People's Revolutionary Party of Kampuk Hia, which governed Cambodia as a one-party state under Vietnamese military occupation from 1979 until elections in 1993. Hun Sen and his supporters reject such charges, saying that he represents only the Cambodian people. Hun Sen's government has been responsible for the sale of 45% of the total land mass in Cambodia, primarily to foreign investors, in the years 2007-08, threatening more than 150,000 Cambodians with eviction. Parts of the concessions are wildlife protections or national parks even, and the land sales has been perceived by observers, to be the result of government corruption. Already thousands of citizens had fallen victims of forced evictions. Hun Sen was implicated in corruption related to Cambodia's oil wealth and mineral resources in the Global Witness 2009 report on Cambodia. He and his close associates were accused of carrying out secret negotiations with interested private parties, taking money from those who he would then grant rights to exploit the country's resources. The credibility of this accusation has been questioned by government officials and especially Prime Minister Hun Sen, himself. Mr. Hun Sen a Euro unregistered trademark s Cambodian Fiopli Euro unregistered trademark s party has placed bans on public gatherings, driven opposition supporters from the site of former protest meetings Freedom Park, and deployed riot police to beat protesters and detain union leaders. Control of media, Hun Sen and his political party, CPP, have for the most part of their rule held near total dominance over the mainstream media. Vern Television is owned and operated by Hunmana Hun Sen's eldest daughter. Asara TV is joint owned by Say Samal, CPP Minister of Environment and son of Say Chhum, CPP Secretary and the son of CPP Deputy Prime Minister Sokhan. CTN, CNC and My TV are all owned by Khmer Chinese tycoon, Neoko Khna Keith Meng, one of the state's OKHNA. OKHNA is a title granted by the Prime Minister or the Royal Family to high-profile businessmen, and signifies a very close friendship. OKHNA are regularly summoned by the Prime Minister to provide funding for various projects. CPP officials claim that there is no connection between the TV stations and the state, despite the obvious prevalence of nepotism. However, CPP lawmaker and official spokesman Chim Yape once stated we pay for the television, coverage by buying broadcasting hours to show our achievements, indicating that those TV stations are pro-CPP because they have been paid for by the state for what is effectively advertising. A demand for television and radio licenses was one of ten opposition requests adopted by the Cambodian National Rescue Party at its FIOPLI Euro Unregistered Trademark S Congress in October 2013. Personal life, Hun Sen is married to Bun Rainey. They have six children, Kamsot, Mane, Mana, Manith, Mani, and Mali. Hun Mane is a 1999 West Point Academy graduate and obtained his PhD in economics at the University of Bristol. In 2010, Mane was promoted Major General in the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and became the Deputy Commander of the Prime Minister's Bodyguard Headquarters. All three of Hun Sen's sons play big roles in his regime. His older brother, Hun Nang, is a former governor of Kampong Cham and currently a member of parliament. Although Hun Sen's official birthday is April 4, 1951, his true birth date is revealed to be on August 5, 1952. Hun Sen is also a fluent of the Vietnamese language in addition to his native Khmer and his fluency in the former have made him a target of criticisms among anti-Vietnamese detractors. Hun Sen also speaks some English and began learning the language from the 1990s, but usually converses in Khmer through interpreters when giving formal interviews to the English-speaking press. See also Modern Cambodia, Politics of Cambodia, People's Republic of Kampuk here. Footnotes Further reading, Alan Forrest Cambodge Contemporain, in Savants, ISBN 2,846,541,930, Harish C. Mater and Julie B. Mater. 1999. Hun Sen, Strong Man of Cambodia. Singapore, 
Graham Brash PTE Limited. ISBN 981-218-074-5, Elizabeth Becker. 1986-1998. When the war was over, Cambodia and the Khmer Rouge. New York, Public Affairs. ISBN 1-891620-00-2, Biography of Hun Senator Cambodia New Vision Newsletter of Cabinet of Cambodia's Prime Ministerial Office.